Welcome to VinylMax Vision video series. Today we will be working with basic quotes in the VinylMax Web Center. In this session, you will learn to enter header information, add line items, edit quotes, view pricing detail, print quotes, and copy quotes. When you log into the VinylMax Web Center, you're instantly taken to the dashboard. This is where we will initiate all quotes by using the Create Quote button in the upper right-hand corner. First thing required is selecting a customer. These are customers that we've set up in a previous step. Once you've selected a customer, the screen populates with information pertaining to that customer, such as their terms, their salesperson, their billing and shipping address. In this screen, you can enter a purchase order number or a customer reference job name, any quotes or notes about the, the quotation before we go into the line items. Once you're satisfied with the information on this screen, click the Add button. This takes us into the line items of the quote. To add a line item, first we're going to select a product category from the dropdown. Let's select Newton. And then we select a part. Let's order a double hung and click Add. The first thing it asks for are the quantity and size of the product that you would like. You don't need to worry about call size or thickness. Then click Add. This brings you to the options for this window. And you can see that the defaults have already been populated. We default to exact size. The product is white. It has low E. But let's add some options. Let's add some grids to this window. So under Grid Pattern, I'm going to select the dropdown, and I'm going to select Colonial Grids. You can see the picture here on the right-hand side automatically shows the grid pattern recommended for this size window. You may choose that, stay with that, or select another pattern here. The grid material that we're going to use on this window, let's go with pencil pewter. And again, you can see that the image is updated to reflect our choice. There are other options you can select. Just go through the questions, select the options that are appropriate for your window. Over on the right-hand side, you can see that you can view the inside of the window, the outside of the window, or both in a side-by-side -side view. If you don't want the visual image, you can click on Summary and instead see a list of all of the options that you've selected for this product. Here's also the opportunity to change the size of the window if that needs to be edited. Once you're satisfied that the information about your window is correct, click the Add button. There are two ways to create another line item on this order. First, we can go through the process that we just went through with selecting the category and the part and clicking Add. So let's say we wanted to add a picture window to this order. We select the new part and click Add. Again, we're prompted for our sizes. And it takes us to the option screen. Since The other way to add more line items to this quote is to copy a previous line. So if I want to add more double hungs to this quote, I'm going to look at the first line item and select the copy function. This duplicates the line and adds it to the end of the quote. Now to edit any information that I want to on this window, I am going to click on the blue highlighted part title. That takes me to the options and I want to edit the size on this window, which is over here on the right. And let's order four of those. When I'm satisfied with my changes, I simply click Save. Using that copy function is a great way to add line items to your quote especially if you've added a lot of options to your window and want to quickly add more lines. To understand pricing for a window, simply click the price and that will bring you to the price breakdown. In the price breakdown, you see not only the base price of the window here at the top, 
but then the upcharge for any of the options that you've selected. Here it shows you your cost of the window and over on the right hand side the selling price for your customer. From here you can actually edit the price that you're charging your customer. You can simply highlight the price and change it or you can choose any of the individual options and edit those prices as well. Clicking the save button is important there. And you can see that the price is updated for the product. When you're satisfied with the pricing, click save. One of the most useful features of the VinylMax Web Center is the ability to change global options on a quote. For example, if you've placed your quote in white, and want to change it to tan, you can do that all at once. So up here in the upper right hand corner are a series of buttons and if you mouse over them they'll tell you what they do. The second one is global option changes. So if you click that it will give you the opportunity to select the question that you want to change, in this case vinyl color, and what was the old option? White. And the new option? Tan. Once you've filled that out, simply click Change. It tells you what will be happening on the order, which line items and parts will be changed, and click Save. This updated all of the pricing for the order and the options as well. There are several types of paperwork you can generate for your quote, and all of those can be accessed from this drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner. You can print a quote, that simply has your sell price, a quote with no pricing, which simply has the product specifications, a quote with no line item pricing, which simply has a price at the bottom for the entire job, a quote of list prices only, a selling quote, which has both the list price and the price you're selling it for, and the accounting quote that includes your cost, the list price, and the selling price. So selecting any of those quotes and then clicking the print button will generate a PDF of your quote. Depending on which browser you're using, it may show here that your quote is ready or it may be a message at the bottom that tells you your PDF has been generated. But once that's been generated, you can view it. The quote accounting is particularly useful because it shows not only the product cost, but also your margin. Just be careful never to give this one to your customer. Another great feature of the VinylMax Web Center is the ability to copy an entire quote. Again, we go to the upper right hand corner and use the copy button. This copies the entire quote to a new quote. This is particularly useful if you want to give your customer two quotes, perhaps one in white and one in tan, one with grids, one without grids. So you can simply make the small changes that need to be made and provide your customer with two quotes so they can compare and make a good choice. When you're finished quoting, you can return to the dashboard. And you can see all of the quotes that you've entered. To edit or view a quote, simply quote on the blue quote number. From there, you can use the edit button at the top to edit the header information, or go into the individual line items to edit the products on the quote. You can make quoting with the VinylMax Web Center easiest by taking the time to individually set up your customers and their pricing. The VinylMax Web Center will be open for customer quoting starting December 11th, 2017. Tune in for our next video, Working with Orders. And more information can always be found in the VinylMax Web Center User's Manual. Thank you for viewing our video.